everybody, it's Dre from Bullshit Corner. Welcome to another video. In today's video, we are going to do a valve adjustment, our valve check on a Honda two-cylinder engine. This is a small engine that is powering a generator. So I'm going to show you the step-by-steps on the method I'm going to use to check the valves. I'm going to take a little bit longer way to ensure that it's done properly. Make sure my pistons are at TDC on the compression stroke. So let's quit fucking around and let's get to work. So I got most of the top guards and everything else stripped off the generator. Your valves are going to be underneath this lid here, the overhead cam. I'm going to remove this side cover here, which is going to expose the flywheel and timing belt, which has the timing marks that we're going to go off of to get TDC. Now that I got the timing belt exposed with timing marks, we're going to remove these four bolts and pull the valve cover off. I have a new gasket coming in, so I'm going to have to reuse the old one for now. The hardest part is always busting the seal. I usually try to find somewhere where I could gently pry, but I can tell you right now that's not going to come off easy. So I'm probably just going to tap it with a hammer. Alright, it takes a little bit of work but I got it off, a little bit of patience. So by looking at this you can see your carburetor comes in, looks like these two valves are your intake and then those two are your exhaust. So on this Honda engine, there's your timing marks there, T over there, and then there's another T there, but there's also an arrow there. It's a little off right now. There's a little arrow there that you line it up with, and once that's lined up, the compression stroke on this one's on the secondary one, the one with the blue dots on the first cylinder, and that's how you set it up on this one. It's pretty straightforward. Like I said, I'm going to replace the gasket, but I don't have that part in yet, so we're going to have to wait. Well, according to this, my intake should be 0.10 mils. I got 0.10 mil in there. And the exhaust has got to be 0.18, so let's grab that feeler gauge out and have a look. So my exhaust is set up good, so I don't have to make any adjustments on that cylinder. So here I am on the opposite side. Exhaust is good. And then the intake one. Yeah, intake's good as well. So I don't have to adjust the valves. If you were to adjust the valves, same as on my ATV, there's a jam nut there. And then there's your adjuster. So you'd back off that nut when it's on the compression stroke. That's the key word, compression stroke. Put your feeler gauge in. Loosen her off, put your feeler gauge in, tighten her down until it's snug, tighten up the jam nut. You should be able to get the feeler gauge in and out with a little bit of resistance, but it shouldn't go in too easy. One thing you must know, if you're going to make valve adjustments on any engine, doesn't matter. It has to be cold. You can't have it running. It's got to be dead cold for you to do in a proper adjustment. Because anything, once it gets hot, you've been running it for a while. The metal expands and it's going to throw your whole readings off. So if you set it up to the tolerances, because when you go check it, most likely it's going to be tight. Then once the engine cools off, your tolerances are going to be a whole lot bigger. So cold engine, remember that for any valve setting.